Hi guys, welcome to Facebook Live. I'm your host Rose. And I'm your host Lauren. <laughs> and we have a special guest here today. Uh, but before we jump in, today we're going over how having a high school diploma can help your career. It's a very important one for anybody out there looking uh, to potentially enroll or if you are a high school student, it's good to know why what you're doing is so important. So we'll be going over that. But before we jump in, Lauren, do you mind going over some do's and don'ts that we we should and shouldn't do today? Of course. Um, so definitely do um, engage with us, send us any questions, leave us some comments about what you're feeling about your current high school experience, what you might be looking to change. Like we're definitely really interested to hear from you guys about what's on your mind. So please share that with us. Um, but if you do have any personal information to share, please don't do that in the comments because they are public. Um, so if there's anything where you would might need to share your address or your student number or something personal, um, send us a direct message right to this Facebook page, or you can call admissions at 1-888 Four two seven six five zero zero, or if you're a current Penn Foster student, you can of course always call Student Services at one eight 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 four two seven one thousand, and we'll definitely be more than happy to talk to you one on one about anything that's on your mind. And if you have any friends that you think you know they would get further in whatever their goals are in life, if they had a high school diploma and they feel like they're being held back, share this with them. Uh, tag them, have them tune in, because we're going to go over a lot of interesting and fun stuff today based uh, all around high school. So today we're going to talk about the benefits of having a high school diploma, um, high school diploma versus GED. That's a big question of, you know, why it matters and why Penn Foster is a great high school um, that you can, you know, go to school online and fit it around your schedule. Um, but now we get to introduce our very special guest. <laughs> this is Megan. Megan, would you like to introduce yourself? Hi, thanks for having me. My name is Megan Bowen, and I am the director of high school at Penn Foster High School. Pretty cool. <laughs> yes, we're um, the perfect person to be talking about all of this today. So thank you for joining us. Yeah, absolutely. Thank do you have, um, I know we kind of talked about this before we started, but do you have any fun facts you'd like to share about yourself? So I am the director of high school. I'm also the mom of three um, awesome kids. Two are in college and one is also in high school. I like to run. I like hot yoga. I have two cute dogs. <laughs> and I have actually been an online learner myself because I got my master's degree in educational leadership in an online program. Wow, that's awesome. How did you feel about the online experience? Uh, I think it really helped shape my current professional role and how I feel about online learning in general. Uh, it's one thing to say and another thing to do. So, you know, I listed all of those things about myself and the opportunity to get my master's online allowed me to be that whole person. Uh, and have a really busy full life and still to achieve a goal that I had for myself professional. Yeah, it really does open a lot of doors to, you know, it, it, it overcomes a lot of obstacles, I think, online learning that holds people back. And it's really, in a lot of ways, it isn't fair that there are so many obstacles to uh, have to get past to get an education in a lot of ways. So I think online learning is just an awesome way to, I'm also in an online program right program right now. So I am just so happy that we are in a place and time where this technology exists and we can all learn from our homes and, you know, make ourselves proud, you know, right here in my dining room. It's very nice. <laughs> I, I think that no one could have expected how, uh, how important online learning would become in today's world. Yeah, no, you're not kidding, especially this year. <laughs> Absolutely. So uh, diving right into our agenda, you know, I think when we were talking about like how important online learning is and just being able to give people access to getting their education that 
it might not have been the situation if you're say like an adult learner and you're you've aged out of high school um or if online just would be much better suited to your needs um it could be a really good option to consider an online high school program um but there's always like that question of is it going to be worth it to do something like that so can you go through some of the benefits of having a high school diploma Sure, I think that the benefits are varied depending on the individual learner and their goals. Um, obviously, for some, it's a personal goal. Um, you know, there are a lot of people who are just looking to achieve something. It could be that they have students themselves and they say, you know, if you can do it, I can do it. Um, it's a bucket list item. It's something that that people just want to um feel like that, you know, that they've set a goal and achieved it. Um, from a professional standpoint, having a high school diploma opens a lot of doors. There are a lot of career opportunities and job opportunities uh, that require a high school diploma specifically. There are also uh, several skills that you learn in your high school diploma program that can be applied, help you earn promotions, uh, help improve your communication, help improve just the soft skills of life uh, so that whatever you know profession or career or job you're in um, it really helps sell you to your current employer and to future employers yeah you know i think a lot about how we think about high school as this kind of like perfunctory like thing that we're just supposed to do you know in a lot of ways but the knowledge that you gain in high school really carries you through um, a lot of situations in life. There's really a lot of skills that you learn in a high school program that I think that we don't even really consider. We just kind of think about it as like you, you're going to earn that diploma and then that's going to take you to whatever your next step is, be it a job promotion or be it, you know, you want a higher education. But you really do gain so much valuable knowledge in a high school program. And it's almost something that we don't kind of elevate enough because there are such there's such a vast amount of um you know from history to math to science like you're really getting a lot more well-rounded from a high school diploma yeah you know there's always kind of a funny joke when am i going to use this in my real life and mm -hmm. and it may look as if what you're learning is not applicable, but really everything you learn in your high school diploma is applicable to your real life. So, you know, every time you attack a math problem, you're problem solving, um, you're using analytical skills. Every time you read or write, you're communicating, you're learning how to absorb knowledge, you're learning how to take a piece of information and apply it elsewhere. So, um, you know, as much as we go through our day to day and don't realize it, everything that we've learned in high school is really being utilized in our in our real lives, whether it's professional or personal. Yeah, there's an interesting stat here. Um, those without a high school diploma have an average unemployment rate of six point five percent, while those with a diploma are at four point six. That is fascinating. So it, it sounds like, you know, the more education that you have, the more you you really get job security from education. And I think it really does make a difference on a resume to have that solid diploma on there. Um, right, you would never want it to be a blocker for you. Like a lot of jobs mm -hmm. do require that high school diploma. So just to have that could be your key to having somebody look at your resume or not. So you never want it it's something that you, if you have it, it can unlock some more opportunities and more doors for you than if you didn't. Absolutely, you could be the best candidate for a job. And if that's a qualification that you don't have, you've lost that opportunity. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is another interesting fact here too. It says those with a high school diploma earn $192 more per week than someone without one. So you're talking about almost $800 more a month uh, just for having that credential. So it's it's definitely something that's important for just about every facet of yeah. uh, your life, you know? I think- Absolutely. 
it's a confidence booster as well. So when you're going into that job interview or where you are, when you're applying for that job, when you know that you have that in your back pocket, I think you go into um, potential opportunities with a different level of self-confidence. Yeah, we have actually, Lauren just shared um, an Instagram post of a student who he graduated from high school after dropping out 15 years ago. And it sounds like he's done some pretty cool stuff in the last 15 years. He's been in a band and he's been doing all these different things, but he said it all, it always bothered him. He didn't have his diploma. Like he always didn't feel yeah. like totally complete as a person without it. So then, you know, the pandemic hit and obviously bands aren't really playing because places aren't open. And he was like, I don't have an excuse not to do this anymore. And he earned his high school diploma and he shared this awesome story out into the world. And he was like, I'm a little shy about it, but if this changes anybody's mind thinking about, you know, whether or not they should get their high school diploma, like he was feeling really good. And he was like, yeah, you should do it. <laughs> so if you guys are out there watching and you want to read a cool story, check out Instagram. Just scroll through. Yeah, that's good. So that brings us to another really great topic, which is a high school diploma is different from a GED. And I think professionally, people like to think that um, it isn't a difference. It's just a matter of age. So like if you get past a certain age, you no longer do high school. Now you would do a GED. So I think it's um, something we should touch base on just what the difference is there. Like what's the difference between a high school diploma and a GED or if there's any benefits to either of them? Uh, what do you think? Sure. I mean, a GED is really just an equivalency exam. So uh, you're not learning all of the same skills and you're not uh, finishing with the same level of knowledge and skill acquisition that you would have if you earn a high school diploma. Um, certain careers, a lot of the military, uh, many colleges won't accept a GED in the same way that they'll accept a high school diploma. Oh, that's an interesting fact. I didn't know that. Yeah, so I think one thing that's important when you're figuring out what kind of high school situation is right for you is figure out what your next step is. Is it the military? Is it continuing your education? Is it a job? And then do some research into what your next step will accept. Um, and then that'll help you figure out what you should do. Yeah, and I think that brings up a good point that um, look into a high school's accreditation. Um, because an accredited high school program is really important as well. Yeah, definitely. And we're accredited by the DEAC, which is the Distance, yes. well, the distance Education Accrediting Commission. <laughs> yes. So if yes. you wanted to check out. Accredited. What was that? I'm sorry. I said we're both regionally and nationally accredited. So the, the highest levels of accreditation for a high school program, we've achieved both. That's awesome. So I guess the, the last thing we should really jump into is why Penn Foster High School versus some other high schools. Um, so so what are your some what are your some of your thoughts as the director of high school of our high school program? What are some of your thoughts on, um, you know, what what makes Penn Foster stand out compared to other high schools? Sure. Um, well, I think obviously, probably the biggest draw to our high school is the flexibility. So, you know, you still have the opportunity to earn that high school diploma to make sure that it's accredited. Um, but you have the flexibility to start at any time. Depending on your life schedule or circumstance, you have the flexibility to work around a work or a life schedule. Uh, so if you work evenings, you can work during the day. If you work during the day and you want to study in the evenings, your school is available. Um, we have all certified instructors to work with our students. We have success coaches to help students um, over hurdles that might be not academic. Uh, there's really not a scenario that we haven't dealt with and that we can't help our learners um, achieve their ultimate goal. I think our high school faculty is awesome too. I mean, we get to hang out with them, so we know that <laughs> they're really great people. Um, our, high, our high school faculty really, really cares about 
the success of of their students and it's very heartwarming. Um, I think Penn Foster High School is awesome because it's been around since the 1950s, which is a wild idea because I know we think of this as being very online, but once upon a time it was through the mail and it gave a lot of people some opportunity uh, that they wouldn't have previously had. Uh, so I think that's a really cool, fun fact about Penn Foster. Yeah, and I think for Penn Foster think, now, one thing that's awesome about Penn Foster High School is that there are a few different options for how you approach high school. Like there's a traditional diploma, you can add on career pathways. Um, so Megan, can you touch a little bit on the learning options that we have? Sure. Um, I think what really makes Penn Foster stand out as an online high school is that we're, we don't necessarily cater to one type of student. We have the traditional age learners who maybe just are better suited to an online platform. Um, maybe they attended a traditional high school and it didn't work well for them. Uh, also have adult learners who are going back to school, some who haven't been in school for a long time. And we have instructors who are focused on helping those learners, um, you know, kind of rekindle their academic knowledge and um, move forward. And we have a lot of learners who are interested in a specific career pathway. Because we have those career pathways, you can not only graduate with your high school diploma, but you can be on your way to a specific career and gaining knowledge in, you know, a, a career path that, you um, you wouldn't be able to get in a mainstream high school. So if you're interested in becoming an electrician, for example, uh, you have the opportunity to take classes and, and really find out, is this what I wanna do? And is this something that I could see myself doing in the future? Yeah, I like those different options because it kind of gets your, you get a little bit more real world footing right at your high school graduation. Also, I think that, and correct me if I'm wrong, don't you get, um, like the high school programs are all the same cost no matter which yes. pathway you take and the pathways tend to have a little bit more um like you kind of get some like extra credits in there for the same amount like i always think the pathways are just so cool like i wish i had that option when i was in school to be able to like you know jumpstart some vet tech credits or early college credits that i could bundle right into my diploma that's i said early i, I, I wasn't yeah, sure so if i said early college credits sorry yeah, instead of taking um, elective courses that maybe are, are not necessarily something you're really interested in, they, you know, may feel like just extra add-ons, you can really take something that can be applied to a future career. Yeah. I, one cool thing about that, too, is the independence that it offers. Like, you independently can figure out what kind of high school experience is right for you. If you wanna do a pathway, how will that lead to a career? And you're able to really apply what you learn to your future. Um, and I think another great thing about Penn Foster High School is you don't need somebody teaching you. Like if you are a more traditional age student, you don't need your parent there <laughs> um, supervising it. You could learn independently. We have resources at Penn Foster where if you had questions, you can ask for help. So you're able to really kind of do it all on your own and make it work for you. Lauren, that brings up a really good point too about how you want your high school experience to go. And we have student community. So you can make new friends on the community and get to know people. Or if you're more independent and independent learner and just like to do your own thing, you also have that option too. So it is like there's support and you can make friends and you can get to know other students or you can you know, just kind of keep to yourself. It's totally up to what you want your experience to be. Definitely. Yeah, I agree. That's an opportunity to have a personalized learning experience based on your individual goals, your individual um, preferences. Yeah, I think it's so important too, because a lot of high school students, I mean, I think we all have tales from high school that we were like, ah. <laughs> And being able to avoid some of those things or um, I had mentioned in the last Facebook Live that I have like a form of dyslexia that makes it a little bit harder for me to take timed tests. And, you know, reading is just a little bit um, tougher for me in general. So having more time to digest information because it just takes more time for me to puzzle out the information on a page is a huge benefit in my life. And I know that there's a lot of people out there that have similar sorts of 
things that I do that just makes it, you know, maybe you just need a little bit more time to digest that information just to absorb it. Um, and Penn Foster High School gives everybody, you know, the time that they need to digest the information at their own pace, on their own terms. I just think that's so important because it it really is, it could be a difference between, you know, straight A's and or a struggling student, just having your own time to learn. And I think a lot of more people have some, you know, different struggles than they even let on or want people to know. And it's just a really good option for those people, I think. Yeah, like, speaking, yeah of, a, speaking of time to learn, Megan, do we have any set enrollment periods or uh, times that you would need to start? Nope, you can start 365 days a year. And I think that really um, speaks to our mission to be flexible and to provide that individual learner experience. So um, we have a lot of students who you know, start at a traditional calendar time of year in August, September, and then we have students enrolling every day uh, from that day on. So uh, no set time to start and no specific, you know, due date for your first assignment. You can really be flexible, take your time, get to know how to be an online learner um, and, and make it your experience. That also brings up, is it, you know, we think of high school as four years. Um, mm -hmm. How long does it take to complete the high school program, typically? You know, it, it usually does not take nearly that long. And um, it really offers the learners some flexibility to, to go at their own pace um, and complete in, you know, a much shorter time frame and uh, focus on the areas that they made. You know, for example, you brought up reading uh, for a learner who might take a little bit longer in certain areas, they can really spend more time on those subject areas and get through areas that are not as difficult for them more quickly. I think being able to finish a little bit sooner is a great advantage for a lot of our learners too. Mm -hmm. I know a learner personally who was a Penn Foster High School graduate and his career goal is to work in the skilled trades as a floor layer and he was able to start his career um, a little bit sooner and, um, you know, he'll just be at a point in his career much faster than a lot of other um, people in that line of work. And, you know, your salary goes up the longer that you're in it. So he'll have more time in his career to make more money, which is great. Yeah. And because you're not restricted to that kind of typical school year, you can school all summer. Um, you can really fast forward through specific periods of time that you wouldn't be able to in a traditional high school as well. I think it's interesting too that we go class by class instead of mm -hmm. you have to focus on five different classes at once, you know, I have to ace them all at once, uh, which is always a little bit more of a struggle because it's just you're picking up information in all these different areas and then you're tested in all these different areas. So I think it's interesting how we do like, hey, you're going to start with this class and once you're done with that class, you're going to move on to the next class and that's the whole uh, curriculum is just linear. And I think that's a smart way to do it so much easier. Absolutely. And it really helps the, the students be able to focus on, you know, one content area at a time. Um, if you're if you're trying to learn a difficult concept in math and then you have to go read something in social studies, it, it can be really overwhelming. So the opportunity to just focus on one subject area, I think, is really beneficial for our students. Yeah, I do. I do, too. I think it's it just seems like the right way to learn, you know, yeah. <laughs> like one step yeah, at a time. <laughs> Megan, do you have any advice for people who are thinking about getting their high school diploma online? So as a former, you know, online student, I think um, my best advice is really just to explore it. I think that there's no reason to hold yourself back. I don't think there's, um, you know, really a, a deal breaker for you. I think online learning can really be beneficial to, to any student who wants to learn. You don't have to be a computer whiz. Um, everything is really navigationally friendly. Uh, we have support 
for those who want support. Likewise, for those who are just really interested in hunkering down and getting through their program, um, they can be really independent. So, you know, I think exploring what that opportunity is, is my best advice because uh, a lot of people just don't know what online learning looks like. Yeah, it's sometimes I think it sounds scary. And then once you get into it, you're like, oh, this is way easier. Why was I so afraid of this? I should have started this years ago. <laughs> That's kind of how I feel about yeah. my, current, my current course. But and if you're- You brought up a community and I think being a part of a community of online learners can help you in that too, so that you can see there are other people like me. Yeah, Penn Foster High School is the largest uh, school in the high school in the nation. Yeah. So there's plenty of, that's a huge network that you're starting off with too. You can get to know people. And if you get to know people that are interested in your career path or, you know, schools you want to go to, you can um, make this network for life. So it's a pretty cool. Yeah. And when you're a student, you can join our student community. You do have to be a student to be able to join. Um, but it's awesome. You can meet, we have a very, very active and engaged student group called the Student Ambassadors. They're awesome. And they love meeting with new students um, to kind of help them out or just make friends, answer questions. And then we have a lot of discussion groups where like Rose said, like you can talk about what you want for your future career or things you're interested in. Um, so there are a lot of ways to make connections with people and make friends, start networking for your career online. Mm -hmm. And again, if you're interested in learning more about this, you want to talk to somebody more specifically, if you have specific questions, we're going to answer, make sure we answer all the uh, comments and questions in your comments, but also give admissions a call at 1-888-427-6500. Um, anything that you want to know about the program on a very granular level, level they will help you with. So don't forget they're there for you. Uh, again, the number is 1-888-427-6500. <laughs> and if you're a student out there and you need some help, don't forget Student Services is also ready for you at 1-888-427-1000. Just want to make sure that you have that because we talked about that at the beginning of the of our show here, um, but wanted to make sure that we touch base on that one more time before we say goodbye. <laughs> Yes. So thank you so much, Megan, for joining us today. You answered so many helpful questions that we get all the time about what Penn Foster High School is like. So we really appreciate your insight today um, and all the great information you had to offer. And guys, if you have any more well, questions, you. like Rose said, please uh, ask them in the comments or send us a message and we're happy to get back to you. Okay, guys. Well, it was great chatting with you both today and with everybody out there. We'll see you in two weeks. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you.